I did a video recently in a podcast recently on misconceptions that or fears that mentees had when they began this business acquisition process and by far the biggest of those was about the financing will banks loan to me how am I going to get the deal done my credit's not good etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. so I wanted to talk about that in this video and what changes I'm seeing positive changes with banks and give you three examples of that so the first is a mentee He's done his first deal he did an SBA loan deal that's a small business association back deal in the US and he interviewed banks as he should have in that process so he's done his first deal he's looking at additional deals and he gets a call from one of the banks that he did not choose for the first deal and they call him up they say that we understand that uh, you're still doing acquisitions so we'd like to finance your next one potentially no out of pocket for you now he's thinking well the SBA loans typically are 10 percent equity five percent come from come, come from the seller five from the buyer and when he mentions that uh, they say no if you can get a 10 percent seller note that we're going to count that as your equity contribution to this so the SBA has regulations but the banks also have some discretion in what they can do they like the SBA loan because it's government backed so there's less risk so that's a first example of how banks are getting a little more aggressive some banks in what they'll do number two is a mentee over in the UK uh, he has interviewed a ton of banks and over there it's not called seller it's called vendor equity vendor no and the banks he talked to for whatever reason said that the vendor equity vendor note uh, was not something that they would accept solely that he needed to have some skin in the game so time goes by this mentee talks to his board talks to his chairman chairman goes and contacts some banks that he has relationships with and comes back and said yeah I talked to a bank the uh, know them well and they have said that under the right conditions that they will accept the vendor note vendor equity as our equity in the deal so that was the second and then the third goes back to the SBA loans and that typically had if you're going to have a seller note or that that note had to be paid after the SBA loan in, in almost all cases so if it was a 10-year note the seller wouldn't get any payments on the seller note for 10 years and they've recently made a change where that's now 24 months that you can't pay the seller note uh, within the first 24 but you can after that and there's some conditions that apply to that as there is in most banking big change seller gets paid more frequently as long as the cash flow is there to do that so when you're thinking about banks understand that in different times they tighten up they loosen up I'm just seeing more banks willing to do more things to get deals done is that because they're not doing as many real estate deals they're not doing as many uh, private equity deals could be all of those things but the important part is for you that there is opportunity there so I hope that helps I hope that puts at ease maybe the fear of banking finances and remember the top of the list seller finance if you can do that that's the quickest way to the goal line and there's a lot of advantages uh, just need to sit down and think about them we've talked about those in the mentoring that I do for the seller specifically okay higher price first position etc so I hope that helps hope you think about banks as a business that has to sell their product uh, if they don't sell their product it happens to be cash they'll go out of business just like any other business so don't go with your hat in hand to the bank they should be lucky to get your business if you come with that mentality you'll do much better if you don't know the steps you should know the steps so go over to brucewhipple.com grab the acquisition advantage boot camp there are when you're over at brucewhipple.com there are some templates for starting conversations if you want to go there directly just brucewhipple.com forward slash get class and lastly there are some spots in the VIP mastermind best program that I run Go over under uh, brucewhipple.com, look at what that's about, 
ignore the sold out. I like to talk to people before I let them in to make sure they're a fit. And if that has interest to you, just send me an email, bruce at brucewhipple.com. But remember the banks and things are changing for the better from where I sit and from what I see with mentees.